Welcome back to Robominions.in AI interview preparation app. The topic of this video is queue implementation using linked list. Before tracing the code, I request you to watch this video on your laptop or a full screen size on your mobile phone. If the code is not clearly visible on your mobile phone, then I strongly suggest you to watch this video on your laptop and trace the code along with me. The app I'm using is robominions.in AI interview preparation app. This app will provide you the control over the code with a click of back and next button. You control the code and trace the code line by line. The app is available in the website robominions.in. Download the latest version. The app is regularly updated every three, three months with new topics and lot of bug fixes. So if you have a Windows OS laptop, download for Windows OS. Now let's uh, start tracing the code. So we have an arrow here, which goes to the exact line of the execution of the code. When we go, when we click next, it moves to the next uh, execution line. And when we click back, uh, it will go back to the execution step. So right now we have a uh, hash include stdi.h. Then we have hash include stdlib.h. Then we have a structure, structure with the struct node having data member and uh, next pointer of type struct node. So it is a type deft that is a renaming of struct node with capital N ODE, capital N small case ODE. So now we have a, we have used this type def node and uh, declared a pointer front of Q, which is equal to null. And then we have rear of Q equal to null. Then we have declared void NQ, which uh, takes the inserted data. And then we have a DQ, which uh, removes the data. So the uh, declaration of a NQ and DQ for the Q implementation. Then we have int main. In int main, we have called NQ of 10. So we want to add 10 data to the Q. Uh, so let's see how it is implemented. It goes to the wired NQ function. Here we have node pointer, new node pointer is created. New node is allocated memory using malloc with the size of node that is struct node and uh, it is typecasted with the node pointer. You can see uh, memory has been allocated and uh, it is filled with garbage value uh, at uh, location hash 100. This is a new node. If new node equal to equal to null, it's false. The memory has been allocated, so it is not null. It goes to the else part. New node data is inserted data. The inserted data we sent was 10. So 10 has been inserted new node next equal to null. So next equal to null. If front of uh, Q equal to equal to null. So right now front of Q equal to equal to null. It is true. Then front of Q equal to rear of Q equal to new node. So all three are pointing to the same node. End of the NQ function. So front of Q and rear of Q right now are pointing to the first node. Then we again NQ data 12. So we have insert data 12 now. So we have again created a new node pointer. A memory is allocated now at hash 200. A new node memory is allocated with a garbage value. Then we have new node equal to equal to null. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not null, it's false. It goes to the else part. New node data is inserted data. 12 is inserted. New node next equal to null, it's null. If front of Q equal to equal to null, no, the front of Q is not equal to equal to null. It is uh, right now pointing to the new uh, previous node. So this node it is pointing. It goes to the else part. Rare of Q next equal to new node. So rare of Q is also pointing to the same node. So rare of Q next is this part equal to new node. So new node is hash 200 has been copied to the next. So don't forget to follow the convention. Here you have uh, for a Q node will have Q data part, next node address and node address at the bottom. The address of the node itself at the bottom. Next node address is at the right side g stands for garbage value so right now hash 200 has been copied to the next node address so here then rare of q equal to new node so rare of q has been moved to this node now so it is pointing to this node so it's the end of the nq then we nq one double two that is 122 again new node new node equal to a uh, memory is allocated so at a uh, location hash 300 new node, uh, it uh, has a garbage value and null. So new node equal to equal to null is false, comes to the else part. 
new node data equal to inserted data that is 122 has been inserted new node next equal to null and uh, if front of q equal to equal to null front of q is not equal to null right now goes to the else part rare of q next then we have in the else part we have rare of q next equal to so rare of q next equal to null uh, to new node so new node is 3 hash 300 so hash 300 has been copied to next node address and we move the rare of q to new node so rare of q has been moved to the new node end of the nq function so all three datas have been properly enqueued so we have front of q here and rare of q here then we dq the data we call the dq function and find the dq data so we have dq we go to the dq function we have node deleted node pointer created D, uh, int deleted data equal to minus one right now if front of q equal to equal to null no the front of q is pointing here it is not null it goes to the else part deleted node equal to front of q so both are pointing to the same node at the first node front of q equal to front of q next so the front of q has been moved to the next node you have to remember q is first in first out the first data that was added you can see first data that was added to the linked list was 10 so 10 has to be deleted so we have to remove the front of q pointer to the next node now and then delete the data so for we extract the data first so deleted data will be equal to 10 now it was minus one we have uh, we have extracted deleted node data so deleted node data will extract that 10 and then we free this node so we, then we call the free delete deleted node it has freed that memory end of the else for else and return the deleted data so deleted data 10 has been returned and printf dq data is 10 now then we again call the dq so we go you can uh, again follow the same instruction deleted data equal to minus one deleted node pointer is created uh, front of q is not equal to equal to null so that becomes this becomes false now equal to equal to null becomes false goes to the else part now deleted node equal to front of q both the deleted node and front of q pointing to, to the same node front of q equal to front of q next now front of q has been moved to the next uh, by first in first out 12 was the 12 is the first one after 10 12 was added so deleted data equal to 12 has been extracted now deleted node data we extract the data and then we free the node so freed and then we return the re deleted data so once returned dq data is 12 now now next again we call the dq so same procedure deleted node created okay front of q is now pointing to this node it comes to the else part deleted node equal to front of q front of q equal to front of q next so front of q equal to null now because next is null deleted data equal to deleted node data 122 so 122 is deleted data free the memory return the deleted data so dq data is 122 again call the dq data deleted node deleted uh, data equal to minus one this time we have front of q is equal to equal to null so can't delete anything because q is empty so comes out of the if condition return deleted data is minus one because it's a invalid so it can't delete any q data so it has written in minus one we return from the main function the time complexity is order of one we just insert and uh, delete so it's a uh, order of one to access the code you can uh, click on code button in the app robominions.in ai interview preparation app to trace the code step by step just like me by just clicking back and next button you can download the app robominions.in ai interview preparation app just before going to an exam or an interview you can quickly prepare all your uh, prepare and revise all your concepts uh, computer science concepts there are hundreds and hundreds of concepts which you have to revise so that you can do it quickly using this app so the app is available in the website robominions.in download the latest version here app is regularly updated with a lots of topics and uh, if you have Windows OS laptop, download for Windows OS. Thank you. Signing up, Dhananjay Sharma, founder of RoboMinions.in. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, share with your friends and family. 
visit robominions.in website crack your toughest coding questions and tech interviews by downloading latest version of the app and make your coding easy thank you for watching this video bye